Most of the ductwork is on this level. Um, you can see it's got right here the way these are sealed up. This is called mastic. It's painted onto the ducts. It seals up all the gaps. Um, but, um, there's still some builders that don't feel that they need to seal the ducts up like this. Oakwood is very conscious of it. Um, all their duct systems are tested. And uh, part of what that does in relation to the furnace, it's making sure that the air, whether it's heat or cooling, gets to the area of the house that you want it to get to. Um, in the past, furnaces and air conditioners were oversized. Oakwood is very good about making sure the furnaces and their mechanical systems are the right size for the home. Um, if you oversize a furnace, what that does is blowing so much air through the system that if these ducts are leaky, the air is going to be shooting out of the duct instead of actually getting to other parts of the house. Um, typical homes, the uh, coldest room tends to be the room over the garage. Um, it's usually the furthest away from the furnace and air just doesn't quite get to it. One, because the furnace is oversized, and two, the ducts are leaky. What can happen if you have an oversized system, and again, it was, it was that concept was if houses were so leaky that let's just pump more air through it, and that'll compensate for all the air that's leaking out of the house. Well, what happens is you blast so much air through the duct system, and if it's leaky, or if there's pressure imbalances throughout the house, the thermostat gets that heat first. And the thermostat essentially says, wow, the house is warm, so I'm just going to shut the furnace down. And so the furnace shuts down, one area around the thermostat is nice and toasty warm, but the rest of the house is cold. That hot air now gets drawn to the colder parts of the house, the area near the thermostat gets cold, and it kicks on again. And the furnace keeps cycling over and over and over again. And so it never really heats up the house, but the furnace is constantly running. And it's constantly shutting off, turning back on. What you want to do, like I said, is make sure that the furnace is the right size for the home and it actually runs longer, which seems kind of counterintuitive that you want it to run longer. You would think, well, I don't want it to run as much. But when that furnace kicks on, it's actually using up more energy to turn on, to recycle. And like I said, it's blasting so much air through the system that it's not getting to the, the other parts of the house. So having it run longer, having it run maybe work a little bit harder than that oversized system, you're going to have... Uh, you're going to eliminate the comfort issues that most people have in their homes. Air is going to be evenly distributed throughout the house. Um, you're not going to have the leaks in the duct system. So even if you have some minor leaks in a duct system, since it's not pressurizing it so bad because it's just overflowing it, it's not going to leak as much.